Uh, welcome to another episode of the Doll Diaries. Now it feels like it's been quite a while actually since I've done a Doll Diary video and loads has happened since I did my last one. I was bringing them quite regular wasn't I but I just thought I'm going to slow them down a little bit because I just wanted to get more of the Stitch Diary videos out for my original viewers. So I hope you don't mind the little break. But it's been so long, I can't really remember what was happening. But it just I just feel like I've got an overload. I forget what I've shown you and things. But I've had um, something get delivered today. Right now, I haven't bought a Barbie in ages actually but um yeah but i've got a build-up of things to show you from other times however i have bought a barbie i've actually ordered this and well i've ordered tina turner a tina turner barbie now there was recently a gloria estefan barbie and it actually when i saw it on an email because i'm a member of the barbie creations or signature um i get emailed about them first i joined since missing out on the Queen Barbie, Queen Elizabeth II Barbie, which I didn't get one anyway. So yeah, I, I saw it, but I was really tired. I thought, oh, I'll have a look in the morning. So I went back on there to have a look and it had sold out. So yeah, I was a bit gutted, but um, I've managed to get Tina Turner the day before it went on general release. So I'm just waiting for it to come. Now, this is quite exciting. Now, I've kind of got into kind of retro um, dolls. So um, I've had one. Now, I've shown I've showed you a silk stone uh, Barbie before and it was the one that I got because she was she was one of the pink collection dolls. Uh, she was in a big pink outfit. She's tanned, dark eyed and fair haired like myself. So yeah, I felt quite warm to this doll because, um, you know, we us doll collectors um, are quite a number of us a lot recreating, like having a mini, having mini me's, recreating our family members and things like that. So yeah, it was good one for when I've got a bit of a suntan and curly hair and things. Um, because yeah, one of my minis, she's quite pale. I don't think I'm ever that pale, but she's got lovely deep dark eyes and light blonde hair. But yeah, I just, um, I use that one for like a figure skating one, I think anyway. So, so this doll, it's got the proper, silkstone look i just can't wait to show it to you actually now the only person who's seen this one is my mum um i can't remember when um this got released but it's also a robert bess so the barbie that i showed you before the pink collection one um she was a robert bess doll as well and so is this and it says it's a genuine silkstone body a uh, barbie signature and it's this one is called best in black and it's a 20th anniversary doll so i don't know if it's it a remake of the 20th anniversary doll or it is the 20th anniversary because barbie's had a like 60th anniversary hasn't she now so um so yeah i'm not too sure but normally when you get these silk stone barbies you normally have to get them off collectors you can't normally get them very often like new but this is brand new and i actually got this one off amazon and it was reasonably priced as well so i'll show you the box now i've only my mum has seen this because obviously i've sent her a picture of the outside of the box and uh, and it tells you a little bit at the back i'm guessing that is robert best so uh, I'm just, I'll have a quick look through it. I might read, I'll read this paragraph. The Barbie fashion model collection uh, commemorates its 20th anniversary with one final series that celebrates the glamour, sophistication and timeless elegance of fashion. Barbie Best uh, in Black doll is ready for any occasion in her jet black mini dress with stylish uh, leg of um, mutton sleeves, sheer ba um, black um, calf high stockings and Mary Jane inspired heels complement her fresh fashion forward look. This BFMC collection doll features them opposable, a opposable silk stone body for endless posing possibilities. Well, I didn't know that. 
because usually the silk um, stone aren't poseable. Usually they're, you know, they're more like ones that were used for lingerie modelling dolls. A lot of them that you'll see, they're in lingerie. Um, like the body on my other one, it, oh gosh, it's a die for. So, but anyway, so yeah, I'll, I'm going to get around. I'm going to actually unbox this all. Now the ones that I've got delivered today, I probably won't unbox because um i'll want to photograph uh the box and everything i've promised somebody on my doll diary instagram account so i'm i think i've, I've obviously undone this already it's got this lovely gold ribbon now uh this looks very much like people that go to barbie conventions get a barbie convention doll and they normally look like this they come in these boxes so whether this was ever used at a barbie convention i don't know but she's stunning the only thing i'd say about this i've wanted to keep her in the box but it is not good for displaying because then she's going to be open to the the elements so to say but she has got a doll stand Ta -da! now she's got this gorgeous and look at this face she's got a sideways glance she almost looks moody, but she's got a lovely little um, dot on her face, like Marilyn Monroe. Now, she looks to me like um, a Bond girl, doesn't she? Did you know, like, what is, uh, like Sean Connery time kind of Bond? Like, I can't remember what all those Bond ladies look like, but that's what it screams to me. She, might, she could even be like one of the villains that she, uh, you know, um, she could be a one that, Bond seduced and then she tries to murder him or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she's got that look about her, a look of sophistication. Now she's got it. Oh, I love the box. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? And uh, she's got a label on her that says Barbie Fashion Model Collection. Oh, uh, just to mention, right? Now the the dolls in this box and this doll is probably not going to be the only thing I show you today. I'm just going to cram in as much as I can uh, in this doll diary episode so uh yeah i haven't given an introduction saying you telling you exactly everything you're going to see in this video you know because i'm just going to just crack on and get as much in as i can so yeah i'm going to unbox her so this whole thing comes out this section and she's got um, a certificate of authenticity authenticity that word I, str <laughs> I struggle with i still honestly some of the words i struggle with i still even with practicing do struggle with them at times oh uh, so a part of the stand is in here that's the bottom of the stand now the uh it, this normally says that it's like a um you know it's a genuine item now this is rather lovely there's all these little black bows on the back which I'm going to undo. Some of the uh, doll boxes, they're not as easy to get them out or you can't do it in such a delicate way. Like these boxes, you could literally put the, unbox the doll and probably get her back in and it look okay. That's what I've done with the other Barbie pink doll. She is actually back in the box, but she's not attached. But it, you know, it's just like a window, a display window, isn't it? lots of knots i might have to cut some of this out i've had to get some scissors to cut these because it just wasn't happening oh for the sewers uh in you that watch uh my doll diary series i'm wearing the Andy sweater um that i made um it's by dear and dome the pattern designer they're french they might be french canadian or just french i can't quite remember actually but i've made this uh sweater or jumper um three times now but this version twice in different fabrics it looks very different and the uh, short sleeve one with a higher neck and a, and a kind of hat it does have a collar but i did a um a collar that came came apart because it was woven and it wouldn't have stretched now i might do some costume changes during this video because i've got those things that katie sent me that i said i was going to wear in my video so i will put those on so she feels really weighty do you know in comparison to 
these uh, these are Playline dolls. Obviously, this is a collector's doll. I will talk about these two dolls. Yeah, actually, I'll just pop on there a moment. These dolls in a moment. These are very current Barbies, actually. And there's going to be a TV show for us UK people. Americans already got it. But yeah, I'll tell you about that in a moment. So the one of the ribbons, I'm re that I've cut is actually attached to her so hopefully I haven't ruined anything then it looks like there's a thread at the back of her which I'm gonna have to cut I'm trying to see where this ribbon comes from yeah the ribbon was wrapped around her body to keep her in there so she's got plastic on her um, it's probably to protect her body from the um, from the the black um, fabric, I suppose, because it could leave some marks on there. Now this is um, press studded at the back, which I'm going to do back up. The press studs weren't actually done up on this, so she's got a hair net on, which I'm going to remove. That's what I could do with really good eye. Yeah, she looks like she's been sitting in a car and it's all flat at the back. <laughs> but yes, look at her, her knees bend. And she's got the plastic round her legs as well. Now, I don't know if um, she's a different measurement or anything to the other Barbies. I'd have to get a tape measure around her. But I won't, I, do you know what? I won't do that in this video. But maybe that's a future video. I will, um, you know, do a few different measurements. Now I've got a few different sorts of Barbies. Uh, I'll just check her arms. Yes, uh, her arms bend as well. So she's just basically got more articulation than this average silk um, stone. Yeah, she's really very flexible, actually. Not like the yoga Barbies. Like that, their um, flexibility is um, insane, actually. They're insanely flexible. But look at those shoes. My mum would love those shoes. With the stockings on. Oh, she's lovely. Right, let me get the, uh, the stand up. Hopefully, I can get this out without too much damage. Oh, yeah, it slid out nicely. Oh wow! But like, this is the second sil um, silkstone Barbie I've had, as I say, and the stands have really been very good. They basically sit underneath their crotch area, so that's how they um, they fit onto them, which is really useful actually. Yeah, like that. Oh, she isn't very nice. I'm so delighted with this doll. Um, I was just so excited to get her and she's been sitting in the box since she's arrived waiting for me to do this video so yeah I've been eager to do it but yeah I just had to get a few Stitch Diary videos out as I say so what I'll do is I will pop her to the side a moment I've still not had a drink out of my Barbie mug because there's all bits inside of it actually one of the things is something I got from the works bookshop and it is Barbie related. So we might have a look at that in this video as well. See how we go for time. Now, I've got something to show you that um, Lindsay, who watches my YouTube channel, actually Lindsay was, um, sent me um, some of the Lunar Lapping boots if you watch my last video. Um, but Lindsay has made me something Barbie, right? And uh, she made it for my birthday. And I've got it here. It's basically, it's a project bag, Barbie fabric. And isn't it absolutely gorgeous? It's got a pocket on the front and it's got pink gingham, very on trend, Lindsay, inside of it. And she said what she imagines me using it for is if I do any knitting for Barbie, this can be my Barbie knitting bag. And I just think that's a wonderful idea because I do find myself doing that actually um, with projects. So, you, you know, I'll put like toft crochet projects in toft bags, etc, etc. So, yeah, I've, so, you know, Lindsay, I have thanked Lindsay for it. Uh, yeah, and I've just been dying to show it on my doll diary video. So that's really exciting, isn't it? So 
I'm just going to pop it there for the moment. Now, I'll quickly talk about these girls. Now, the, there was a TV series called it Ta Barbie It Takes Two, and uh, it followed on from the movie uh, Life in the City movie. So basically, they get to stage school, and then they want to, you know, they get to a thing there, and then they want to stay there, and la da da, whatever. But they, they had basically 20 something episodes. We only got to see the first 13 or something. It ended with two episodes of When They Go Camping. Wow, the new series is out on Netflix in America. And, uh, and this is the outfits that are associated with that TV series. And, uh, and they've actually started doing some little mini vlogs on YouTube wearing these outfits as well. The, these girls are both called Barbie, both called Barbie Roberts. Uh, this Barbie lives in Brooklyn and the original kind of Barbie that we know lives in Malibu. So they nickname each other uh, Brooklyn and Malibu. I have mentioned this before in my doll videos. But yeah, these are the most like, up-to-date character outfits, the character dolls, basically. But if you want to watch the series in the UK, uh, what I find is that a kids' TV channel gets them before Netflix in the UK. It must be, you know, they offer more money for it. I don't know. You don't need to know how these things work. But basically, they're going to be on in October half term. The date, the 24th, jumps out at me but as long as if you've got like pop on your tv service you'll be able to watch them there they normally like put one on a day what i think they did with the last um first part of the series earlier on in the year they had like one every day and then it kind of stopped and they went back to the beginning and then they did the other ones later on and then we actually got them before netflix in uh, the us to start with but then they got them in one hit so then obviously i had to wait every week or every you know when they came round again to watch them so uh, yeah so that's something for me to look forward to um now what i find with barbie they they appeal to all different age groups so you've got your your Barbie collector kind of dolls and things. And then you've got your play line dolls. And then you've got the ones that are aimed at the really little children. Probably more like you've got a TV series called Dreamatopia. I don't watch Dreamatopia. I think that's really aimed at very um, small children. However, I, don't, I haven't watched it. So uh, I think I watched a little bit of the first episode, so I can't really comment um, entirely. Maybe I should just watch it for educational purposes, as I do with a doll series, you know, and I talk about Barbie. Maybe I should watch it for those reasons, so I can tell you a bit more about it. But you find there's different dolls for different kinds of people, young children, right up to collect adult collectors. And it's the same with the TV and things. Uh, there's very different age group for movies and things but i try and watch all the barbie movies whatever age they're aimed at and i quite enjoy them actually i might watch one in a minute actually it was one i couldn't uh, stream in the uk and i managed to get the dvd i'm just hoping it's going to work in the uk and my husband's going to be watching football at four o'clock and it's it's 10 to now so i might watch a barbie movie depends how long i'm doing this for but anyway this is my Amazon package. I won't pick it up because it might have my address on it. Might need telling all of YouTube where I live. Right, it's out of the box now. I'm not going to properly debox this. Um, I'm just going to show it you. Now these are remake dolls from before my time. Basically, they're the dolls that are remakes from 1971. So this is before I was born. But I just absolutely fell in love with these dolls. Now, they have got names. Um, let me have a look at the back. It says, Malibu Barbie and her beach-loving friends. The sunset made a big splash with their debut in 1971. 50 years later, the original California girl is still making waves. Now, this, these dolls were released in 2020, so I believe, when I had a look at the data them. The rest of it is all foreign. The same paragraph is, re you know, repeated again and again. Now, I can see that this box has has got some damage at the back but I don't know if I was going to be keeping them in the box yet I'm not entirely sure but anyway here they are 
Ta -da! Now what I'll do is I'll pop a photograph on the screen of either my dolls or the dolls on the website and things. And uh, it didn't say the names, but they, they have got names, but they're, they're just absolutely lovely. I love the, the, uh, the beads in the one girl's hair. I'll get them up clo close to you actually. I'll tilt them because of the glare. I especially love the girl in the middle. I just think <laughs> she's got such, they've all just got such cute faces. And look at the fashion. It's just brilliant, isn't it? I absolutely love it. And I, oh, sorry, Barbie. <laughs> I'm knocking. Barbie's uh, so overwhelmed with these new dolls. She might be a bit put out. <laughs> these glamorous girls turning up and she's there in a sweater. You know, I, I must admit, I don't particularly like this outfit all that much, actually. Um, I, I really like uh, Brooklyn's outfit. Um, and I do know that they, it, they're not separate. They're basically one piece, these dolls. I don't think I showed you them before, have I? I don't think I have. But anyway, but yeah, they're just lovely, aren't they? And I love the date. Now, they would look good, I think, Um left in here and they've got gorgeous tans and i'm really happy to have such uh even though they're remakes in 2020 they are remakes of these really old dolls and as a doll collector uh, i'm just absolutely delighted really really delighted with these these older and obviously even with this doll um she's got the 20th anniversary she's an old style doll as well so they're just lovely so um when i um redo like i've had people saying oh can i have a can you do a studio tour but you know it's like welcome to hell in here actually but no i love it but yeah for uh, someone coming in but what my plan is when this room gets redone i'm going to be taking a lot of these calax things out of here and uh, what the plan is unless i put them up on the wall maybe um i'm going to have basically desks going all Excuse me, let me pull my leggings up. I'm going to have desks going all around the room. Yeah, I'm going to have desks all around this room so I can have like all my sewing machines out that I need and things. And then what I'm thinking of doing is using underneath the desks for craft storage. And then on top, I'm going to have some shelves for the dolls and things. And hopefully with the amount of desks that I'll have in here going all the way around the room, I'll be able to have like, you know, doll um, scenes and things that I want to photograph and things. So that's exciting, isn't it? So where are we now? Right, I'm going to um, just have a look through here and see what I can show you. Shall I open this confetti thing? Right, this is from the work. I have got no idea what's in this, but I think you pop it. I think you push it through at the bottom like a... No, maybe not. I'll get, try and get this lid off. Oh, there we go. Oh, some confetti's fallen out. Oh, oh, there we go. Something's come out. There's confetti everywhere in here. Oh, my goodness. What have we got here? So... There are some Barbie stickers in here. These are very inexpensive. I, I think, I can't remember how I picked this up. And it's got a very, a very cheap, it's like a Christmas cracker kind of style thing. A key ring and it says Barbie with a um, inner star. It's like um, some kind of plastic. Yeah, so, yeah, that's rather interesting. I was a bit intrigued. I thought, yes, it's Barbie. We're going to try it out. It's not all that exciting, isn't it? But I think it was so cheap in the works bookshop. Do you know if you were, you know, um, promised a little child a treat and you was out in your local town, say, oh, yeah, you know, or give them... It's like a pocket money kind of thing, isn't it? So, anyway, right, let's have a look here. What I've got to show you... Now, I've been photographing things for a while and then I forgot what I've photographed. So I'm on a mission to recreate, recreate, recreate my pets. 
um, in miniature form because I'm crazy about miniature as you've probably guessed and I've managed to pick up this now I've not um I d I've not photographed this yet because it's all in there but it's a little black cat but if you've been watching my other videos, you'll realise that we lost our black cat. Now, this cat is black with little bits of white on it. And I, my plan was I was going to paint it to make this cat fully black to be my poppy cat. But my poppy cat has since, you know, been put to sleep by recommendation of the vet. So, I don't know, maybe I'll have her back maybe i will paint her and have her back in miniature form you know or am i torturing myself i don't know i'll have a bit of a think about it and uh it's got little kittens now i must admit the uh the little cat looks like the big one so maybe i won't paint it because it's like its mother but what i'll do is i'll get these all out of the box and i will photograph them properly and then I'll insert them into this video. But there's all these little bits and bobs. Now, this is a Barbie. Um, it's got a cat tree. It's, um, now, Barbie does have a cat tree. Barbie brand one. I've seen it. Um, I don't know if it's a recent one. But this is another brand. I don't know how to pronounce it, actually. Is it Schke? It's foreign. Is it German? Yeah. So, and you can get chickens in this brand as well, actually. So, yeah, well, I'll get those photographed. And I managed to get a miniature chihuahua. You know, I've been after a miniature chihuahua. And the miniature chihuahua I had to get, I had to buy a Barbie Extra. Now, the Barbie Extra he is here. Now, I have photographed this Barbie. And um, she's pretty stunning, actually. She's a, a Playline doll, but she's these dolls are very popular with collectors and they're not, you know, um, very expensive or anything. But they've got really cool modern outfits. Um, she's got lots of jewellery on, earrings, and she's got this lovely, this platinum blonde hair with blue streaks in it. It's a great orange bag. Look at those killer shoes. I do need some more shoes like Barbie, I think. And uh, yeah, she's lovely, but she came with a miniature chihuahua on a treadmill. Now, well, I have taken photographs of these, so I'll pop them in for you. But actually, I won't get the chihuahua over here because the chihuahua is with my mini at the sewing machine over here with Harry Potter, the Harry Potter with no glasses, actually. And <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've got to climb over everything. And that's what I'm saying, welcome to hell in here. But uh, yeah, but I've, that's why I picked this one up. But I really do like this doll. But um, she's been sitting here waiting for a video on this um, sofa that I made. Now, this sofa is out of um, a sewing book, the Luna Lapping uh, book. But um, do you know what? They're not a bad size for Barbie. They're meant to be for the um, the stuffed animals that I make, which are bigger than Barbie. Which, if you're interested in seeing them, I have shown them in videos before, and I did show some of them in my um, last video actually. So uh, if you're interested in seeing those, if you you know you can on my last video. So yeah, she's been sitting on here. So but you can fit two dolls on here, which is great. So, so I, so that chihuahua is probably close to my boy chihuahua, the one that came with that doll. And I was on the mission to get one that looks like my girl chihuahua. Now, uh, you know, it's took me a while to find. Now, this isn't Barbie. This, I don't know if I've managed to achieve this. It's a secret box. I think I got this from Amazon, actually. And I'm really hoping to get a chihuahua that looks like my girl chihuahua. And I'm hoping it's going to be in here. So I'm just going to cut into it. Again, I will get these photographed um, for you to see. They're called Real Littles. The things you love made micro. Cute carries, it says, on the side. Oh, oh gosh, they're falling out. I wanted to show you the back. Oh my goodness, the one I can see, it does look like my dog. <laughs> or similar, not quite the same colour, but there's some there's some extreme likenesses. But I'm going to save that one till last, actually. Now, this is a three-pack of dogs, and they come in these handbags. Now, these bags, 
they I think they're fine for a pet carrier for Barbie, but as a handbag, they're they're a bit too big. They're more like a luggage bag. Now this dog, now in the back, it's got this thing. So I think it comes with a lead and a thing for hanging. Maybe you can use them as bag charms. And there's bits dangling off it. And they unzip. So this looks like a French bulldog. I do, I'm do. i quite good with dog breeds, actually. I do know a number of dog breeds. So, the, yeah, so this is a French bulldog with the sunglasses on. Actually, the um, I didn't mention, but obviously you'd have seen in the photograph, that um, chihuahua that came with the Barbie Extra had sunglasses as well. I'll show you what this looks like in the box when I've shown all of them. This is a West Highland Terrier and it comes in this fluffy bag. And again, there's like a thing for dangling and a pink lead. This definitely looks like a girl dog, doesn't it? If you can say that these days. Um, yeah, there's, she's in a little dress. She, no, not a West Highland Terrier, a Yorkshire Terrier, sorry. Not a West Highland Terrier, a Yorkshire Terrier, that looks like. Now this is a Chihuahua now. It looks like something out of, um, you know, with a, what's it called? Legally Blonde. Ta da Now, my girl is kind of like an off-white colour. That one is more beige. But when you see, like, I've seen a pure, pure white chihuahua in the park. Now, you'd look at my dog and think she's white. But when you put her next to a pure white, you think, gosh, it makes her look creamier. But she's not as creamy as this. You'd look at her and think she's white. But like I say, she's not brilliant white. She's like an off white. But that's a real good match for my holly and what's really good is it looks bigger do you know what? i'm gonna get that other two hour over actually oh gosh it's holly oh i've got to show i have to show you some photographs of holly actually if you haven't seen her um on my videos or anything i'm gonna I'll just go and get that other chihuahua i look a little bit higher up now because all oh, the sun's peeking in through the window if you can see this strange shape of my face um i've i've put that quilt my this is a wooden stool and um my bottom I was getting a bit sore sitting on it. So here we go. Now, if you know my Holly and Rafe, Rafe is smaller than Holly. Now, this one looks more realistic to a dog and this is a bit more comedic, but actually they're a real, they're a real good likeness. I can't wait to photograph these and show my family and they'll be like, oh my goodness, mum, you've managed to get some pretty good likenesses. They'd know straight away what I was trying to achieve. I'm just, <laughs> I'm so chuffed. You know, I never thought I'd ever be able to get recreate, you know, like miniature versions. I've been on a mission for ages. Like I've been dying to open these, but I've kept them in there, ready for this video, but... Oh, I'm just so chuffed. I've finally managed to find miniature versions of my dogs. So I'll pop that back in the box now and I'll show you what that looked like. Now, I will admit, I've seen these in Smith's Toy Store now, but they went back when I wanted this. They didn't have them uh, in there, not as far as I know anyway, unless, unless they'd sold out. So maybe these are quite a new thing but they're, they're so much fun aren't they so yeah another thing to have a great time um photographing right so i'll show you something else while i'm here now i haven't got that a uh, play set thing i've got a few things that i haven't i've mentioned on the videos that i haven't actually got out of the boxes yet now i you will have seen if you follow my doll instagram um a doll it's a bmr 1959 barbie i've showed you one of these before now i will admit I bought this doll because I wanted to share something for um, Pride, because uh, for the Birmingham Pride post, and I wanted his body for another doll. So, but I do feel a bit guilty about it actually. But look, they, they, like they're so modern now. Like some of you that um, 
you know, haven't been involved in Barbie for a long time. So, oh gosh, since your own childhood or your own children. Uh, some of you have been quite surprised how far Barbie has come. But the, I think this... Um, I, I know I say I share this for pride, but, uh, because, you know, I don't want to upset anybody, but I don't think he looks um, heterosexual, does he? But doesn't mean a heterosexual guy couldn't dress like this. But I just, he did look like some, like, uh, remind me of a lot of gay pride kind of things. So that's the doll I used for the post. And uh, yeah, it's got green hair. But what it is, I want, he's got a fully yoga body, properly articulated. And I wanted to use this doll for my Raff, um, Raffa doll. Do you know who's in the Barbie series? The fashion designer doll. I set a timer on here, it's going off. So yeah, I, I want to use his body for that doll. But at the moment, I've left him as he is to show you. And he's got his yeah, certificate in there. But yes, it's going to be less articulated in time. But he'll still be lovely and tanned. Uh, Rafa is in there. Hang on, let me put the light on. Yeah, Rafa is standing at the back with the stripy top on um, by the sewing machine. I've got two um, doll size sewing machines now, haven't I? So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so Rafa's going to be getting an articulated body. Basically, all the TV dolls, apart from, I won't be doing it with these, but the t uh, I've always got a, I try and turn all the ones to have articulated bodies. Like, you know, for example, like Nikki. Nikki is from Barbie's Dream House. I gave her a yoga body, didn't I? So so she's fully articulated now you know so um i never ever managed to get a renee doll but i use this yoga one as renee but i would like to give her an outfit to to actually look like her in time and i've got some plans actually um on how i could do that but i won't include that in this video now so what shall i show you next now um i was really happy to get a toy story barbie a while ago she's still in the box she might be staying in the box i don't know and um and it's this one it's toy story 4 and she's in this outfit and now some of the toy story barbies that have been out i don't think they were in toy story from what i hear anyway but this doll i don't know it was but now i can't remember exactly was this outfit in the in toy story 4 because i can't quite remember but what i have seen i've seen people on instagram dress up humans dress up in this outfit and do like you know a twinning is winning pose with them and uh yeah she looks great she looks articulated from her arms not as articulated as the uh, yoga made to move but maybe similar to the articulation on that the silk stone one the, you know you get different articulations on barbie but, but she's wonderful isn't she and i really i think she might be a stay in the box doll well definitely for now it's got to the stage i've um got so many dolls i'm happy to keep some in boxes and because sometimes they look great in the box don't they like this and then they don't look as good out of the box. Well, she'd look good, wouldn't she? But you know what I'm saying? It's got the Toy Story 4 logo on there and everything. Now, I did get a colour reveal um, Barbie. Now, you've seen a colour reveal doll before. Sorry, I've got my flora here. Now, I was doing a Stitch Diary video um, a couple of days ago. And uh, and I was showing flora at the end. So, if you'd like to see more of flora that I made, um, yeah, check out that video. Because um, some of you that are watching these doll diary videos um you might be interested in a bit of sewing and toy sewing and actually so this um rabbit has got a pattern pack uh, all different patterns and i am going to try them on my 28 inch barbie that i haven't shown you yet on the videos she has been sitting down here but yeah i'm going to try some of these clothes on her in a future video uh, and if they fit i might make her some as well she's in the outfit that she came in she doesn't look all that great really so yeah i've got a color reveal barbie which um i got off ebay because i want and i wanted to know i was getting the one i'm getting and uh i've i'm just wondering where it is bear with me 
right <laughs> i can't find the color reveal barbie at the moment so what i'll do is i'll do that in another video what i'll do is i'll make sure i find it first before i sit in front of the camera um but i've got some other things i can show you now a while ago i showed you a second hand barbie oh, i've got another pet here and it is barbie right Gosh, I'm, not, I'm knocking. This is a lampshade I made, Mandy Shaw, a sewing themed one. And I just knocked it off, just put there, and a Barbie fell over. This is a Barbie that I got off eBay, second hand. Uh, little Mariposa. She's a movie Barbie. She's got a very different look about her, hasn't she? Hello. 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 I'm filming for YouTube. Okay. Okay. Um dinner dinner speak to dad about it and see what's happening because we're ordering <laughs> <in. laughs> look, i can cut i can edit i can cut this out so don't worry yeah i know but he's sent to speak to you you might you he, he sent me to speak to you oh okay all right then i'll stop this then right i'll be back <laughs> Sorry about that small disruption. <laughs> right, so basically I got Mariposa. She's a movie doll. It, the movie's called Mariposa and she's a fairy. And I got her second hand. Now she's wearing a yoga outfit I've given her. She came naked. I cleaned her up, didn't I? I washed her hair and everything. And she's got this big thing on the back where she's supposed to have wings. Now I have been on the lookout for wings uh, for her just to fix her up again, but I've had no luck, but I have managed to get a second hand outfit from eBay and it's her outfit. So I thought we could dress her up. What do you think? So this is her dress. Like I don't know what kind of condition it's in. I can see a ribbon inside of it and there's a Velcro. Now there's a strange like ribbon bit in here. I don't know how that's going to go. Um, but that's her dress. And these are her shoes. They're like a ballet style. And uh, yeah, I'm going to pop them on her. She looks quite cute in this outfit, doesn't she? I probably could use these trousers for a twinning is winning post on Instagram because um, they're flowery and I have made a flowery pair of trousers. So yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. Mine are not leggings and fitted. They're, they're woven fabric, so they're not stretchy or anything. But these are like proper stretchy leggings. But I think the overall look would be okay, wouldn't it? Now she's got undergarments in this. So no doll nudity. Now, uh, there are different Mariposa dolls. So I don't know if this outfit uh was the one for this actual doll who knows but that i presume it is the shoes are lovely they've got like a little plastic butterfly on them i never set out to get this mariposa doll i had watched the movie and then i saw this little naked doll when i was looking on secondhand dolls on ebay um looking a bit of a mess and things and yeah, I just don't, I don't know, she just, it pulled on the heartstrings actually. And I think I wanted to give her a new lease of life. I don't think they fit. <laughs> I can't get it on her foot. I feel like, um, you know, do you know about the, when the uh, ugly sisters try and put on Cinderella sho <laughs> shoes? I can't actually, I'm going to let me just take it out of the, the leg bit. Let's try it in there independently. Yes, it does go in, but having all this is making it rather awkward to get the angle on it. But at least I know it does fit. Let's try again. I can't do it. <laughs> right, leave me with this. I cannot get these on her feet. And it's such a shame. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't this Mariposa doll that wore this Mariposa outfit because there have been a number of dolls because I think there might have been two movies maybe. But I must admit, the uh, the fit of this, it looks a little bit big as well. But I don't know. 
<laughs> I was ever so chuffed when I found that. But yeah, unfortunately, that's in other Epic Files. I can't find a colour reveal Barbie. And, and the shoes don't fit, unfortunately. <laughs> right, I am going to end this video. Um, I haven't done any costume changes, have I? <laughs> I've done it again. I might have to come back. I don't know. But I am going to end this video for now, if it is the end, uh, with this. And it's Barbie. Colour revealed. And it comes with a leaflet with all the different um, dogs that you get. Now, I this was when I was trying to get a chihuahua. And now, this is before I managed to get this chihuahua to look like Ray. Um, so I it's one of these, you don't know what it is, but basically it's a backpack that says Barbie on it. And you don't you don't know what you're going to get basically from pack to pack. And I only ordered one, I think there's four in total. And then you get all these little packs inside. Now there's a little picture inside there, so I'm guessing that isn't a chihuahua. I think, from what I remember... Let me have a look at the colours. To get a chihuahua, it needed to be green, like a green colour. So yeah, so it's a good job I found a chihuahua uh, another way because I'd get I'd be a bit disappointed. So here is the dog. Now this has got to be dipped in water. To you know, because it's a colour reveal. Now I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm not going to um reveal the colour now shall I yeah I'll do it it's got a thing for hanging now I know this is for hanging this so you can use this as a charm oh. ah it comes with a little hood for the dog to wear it's like a hood oh it's a hooded cape or hooded dog coat should I say I won't put it on at the moment because obviously we've got to do the colour reveal, haven't we? Oh, and it comes with some sunglasses. Now, I don't th the sunglasses aren't for the dog. They're actually for Barbie. So I will pop them on a Barbie, the nearest one to me. They're a bit like Elton John glasses, aren't they? Right, I'm going to grab some water and I just want you to see the comparison with the size from this Chihuahua. And they're similar size, aren't they? Right, so yeah, I will be back in a moment. Ta da! I've had a costume change. <laughs> right, I've put on the outfit that Katie bought for me, who watches my channel. And uh, yeah, I've been telling her that I was going to come and wear it in my video, but look, I've left the label on. Look, it's a t shirt, and now there's a very modern looking Barbie on a flamingo don't you know right have a look sorry crochet flamingo i'm taking the flamingo that's a toff toff for me that was my first ever um toff pattern that i made but not using their yarn actually use acrylic but uh yeah i've got this look so i could have a barbie sitting in it posing in this uh, scene put it in the uh blow up hot tub which we've got in the garden and uh yeah and i could do a recreation now the the swimsuit that she's wearing in this picture is actually from i think from the first barbie do you know when you can get like recreation the very first barbie and she's she's kind of got this kind of face this sort of face not quite exactly the same these came later but um with curly hair and she's wearing this swimming costume so i haven't got that barbie but i must admit if i did have her i think i'd like her twice so i'd like one i can undress and put put uh, the swimsuit on a more modern barbie and then keep one as it is but this isn't just the t-shirts I feel a bit summery now. Uh, you know, we're heading into like, you know, we're in autumn now, aren't we? Heading into winter, but uh, actually, I'll put my hair back. Um, it's got shorts. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> They're basically cycling shorts with Barbie on them. 
and uh yeah it's just great isn't it it feels like i've got this wet i've had this in here and it feels like i've spilt something on it i think i need to put it through the wash and i haven't even wore it yet so yeah i think i had a an iron incident in here with some water spilling out which is is a shame isn't it so thank you so much katie i'm so delighted to have these and they're probably like more of a a pyjama kind of thing although i would wear the t-shirt out if i haven't stained it with iron water i've honestly i've had a nightmare with irons do you know i have threw two irons away this week that i use for craft purposes and an iron that i kept for ironing clothes i've brought down here now because i'm getting a bit annoyed with them you know some problems with them so anyway i have got a glass of water here and i'm going to pop the dog in he floats <laughs> so Look, the water's going pink. It looks like a milkshake. Don't drink this, by the way. I should have brought a spoon in, shouldn't I, really? To give it a stir. I wonder how long this is going to, to take. I need to... I'll just bob him up and down in a bit. That's how he's looking at the moment. All pink and slimy. He looks br like a brown, a light brown colour. Oh, he's so cute. He doesn't look like that dog in that picture. Do you know the one I showed you? In the little love heart. I love these colour reveal things. Now, these colour re reveal things, they're not, I don't think they're aimed at collectors. I think they're aimed at the younger Barbie audience. But honestly, I've had so much fun with these colour reveals. Now there's still a little, a few little bits left on here, but I'm going to show you him. He looks lovely, doesn't he? I wanted to put his coat on, so I've got to make sure I get all this off. Right, here we go. Give him a shake. I do think he looks like a little boy dog. Here we go. <laughs> he looks lovely, doesn't he, in his little coat? Yes, yeah, so it's really very sweet. Now I think this... You can use it as a, I think it's meant to be a dog bed. Because if you look inside of it, like this is a lovely little thing for a small child. On this, um, it's basically embossed inside and there's a pair of Wellingtons, an umbrella, a bone and a ball. And then inside, there's actually a dog bed with a bone and little food bowls. So this is like a thing you could a child could play with, look and take out and things it's really do you know what if you've got a grandchild or something um yeah I'd, i think this would be a lovely gift for a, a younger child definitely so well uh, i'll pop the other little chihuahua in there as well so yeah i can't wait to photograph those so anyway i'm going to leave this video here i've got way more to show you um you know as i've mentioned harry potter and disney i've mentioned in my other videos but yeah i've got way more barbie to show you as well so but i really hope you've enjoyed what i've shown you today uh, you know a bit more modern play line and a bit you know like a vintage collector route as well and um hopefully tina turner will come soon uh, so i'll get to show you her as well so thank you so much for joining me for this episode of the doll diaries i'm sorry that it probably wasn't all that professional none of my videos are but i ha you know haven't been bringing as many videos recently and you do get out of the flow um of sitting in front of the camera and talking to it and the more you do it the better you get at it i think so anyway thank you so much for joining me for this episode of the doll diaries and i'll see you next time Bye.